Catalytic converter thefts are spiking all over the nation, especially here in the natural state. Conway Police Department recently posted these pictures on Facebook, asking for help finding owners who had their catalytic converters stolen in the last 10 days. Several people commented on the post, saying their car was targeted. However, it didn't match the description given by police. But one of those comments belongs to a church that was targeted. Our Haley Brooks speaks with them about what happened. We are a church that is known for giving, but in a case like this, it wasn't giving, it was taking. Central Baptist Church in Conway, Arkansas was recently the target of a theft. It's a pretty low thing to do to rob from a church. Senior pastor Don Chandler says their church bus is usually parked in this lot, but it's currently in the shop after the catalytic converter was stolen. Chandler says a lot of damage was caused in the process. It's about $9,400 to fix. Catalytic converters are often targeted because they contain precious metals that are valuable. Scrapyards pay between $20 and $500. I called a dozen scrapyards in central Arkansas. None of them wanted to speak on camera. However, one yard told me they stopped buying catalytic converters for this very reason. Another said when they do buy scrap, they write down all of the seller's information. Conway PD sent me almost a dozen reports of converter thefts from this year. Many reports say two or more converters were stolen. But this department isn't the only one. Faulkner County and Lono County both say they made several arrests this year. In one case, Lono County deputies recovered 56 catalytic converters. In front of a good man, you could leave something unlocked and open completely and it would never go missing. In front of a bad man, locks and fences and bus barns probably won't do any good. So I think it's all about what's inside a person that makes that happen. In Conway, I'm Haley Brooks.